Yeah, good result for us. Um, you know, we spoke about this last week is uh, getting uh, results in a row. Um, <clears throat> important one at home again against our rival, um, one that's within striking distance now and, uh, you know, dodge a few bullets, but that's a rivalry game. Um, like we talked about this week as well is uh, counterattacking football, trying to negate the counterattack, but they're a good team. They get free a couple times uh, and, and we, do, we do an okay job of slowing them down, get lucky on a few occasions, and then we bang away a few chances and we find ourselves in a decent position going into Houston. How, was, how big of a save was that on McInerney from Stephen Fry? A couple of them. Uh, you know, Steph had, a, had, a, had an awesome game tonight reading plays. Um, yeah, a massive one. Um, I think on another day he probably finishes that, but at the end of the day, it's all about finishing your chances. Er, too many times earlier in this year we can say the same thing for us as uh, you know, not finishing our chances. We don't get a result. And in this league, if you don't do that, the other team's going to bang away a few goals, um, and that's a sign of a good league. So uh, in saying that, <clears throat> dodge a few, but on the other end, bang away a few goals. Did this match need a goal to kind of jump start the thing, to jump start the buzz, or was it back and forth? Yeah, I think it was always going to be a back and forth game. You know, we're always going to push at home, and that, that leaves, uh, leaves gaps. Um, and I think if you ask around, I think a few times a bit sloppy at, at, at times. Um, and maybe that's nerves, maybe that's uh, um, a bit of pressure from Portland as well. So they did, they did a good job of uh, you know, intercepting passes, getting behind the ball, and then catching us quick on a counter. So um, it was always going to be that type of game. It was, it was uh, who's going to finish our chances, and, and we we're fortunate enough to do that today. But halfway through the season, you made a couple comments talking about some of the team, your teammates, coach has talked about how committed this team is, the feeling after four matches with Schmetzer and Ladero. Yeah. Well, I mean, the whole time I think the group has been committed, um, and maybe we just needed a bit of a jump start. So uh, that came, and uh, we, we relish that right now. Um, and if that's the case for... Uh, for the way that our record's going right now, then then we'll take it. Um, we'll put it in the bag and carry on to Houston, and uh, one that both teams are now fighting fighting for their lives. So it's going to be a scrappy game. It's going to be um, a really really difficult game and a tough place to play. So expect a battle in Houston, and um, yeah, we focus on the next game. I think Clint has, ahead, I think Clint has scored eight times in seven games against Portland. Now, what do you think it is about this series that brings that out? Big games, big goals. You know, Montero was the same way, banging away goals against Portland. I think big players relish big games, and we were fortunate enough for him to, uh, you know, take the team on his shoulders that time and, and put the ball in the back of the net. And that's what uh, that's what big players do. So, uh, in that case, you know, he's doing what he's what he loves to do, and, and uh, we're fortunate to be a part of it. How important was the win today for morale, confidence, all of that going ahead into this week because you guys have to play on again on Wednesday yeah. and then Portland again <clears> next weekend? Tough week. I think it makes recovery a bit better. It makes the long plane flight tomorrow morning a bit better. Um, but we all know at any time anything can change in the snap of a finger. So we got to focus on what we've done well, uh, fix this, keep fixing the things that we aren't doing well. And, um, you know, it, it's a... It's a good time to get a result in Houston, but it's a, um, I know it's going to be a, a, a really difficult game. What are the most significant ways that Ladero has impacted this team? Uh, I'd say movement. Um, you know, obviously he is a smaller guy. Um, he plays bigger than he, than, he, than he looks, but at the same time he uh, he draws a lot of fouls as well. And set pieces with a guy like that with his left foot can change a game. It can uh, keep teams under pressure. But it also, you know, when you have a guy like that on the field with Clint on the field, it, it draws some eyes away. So helps out in that respect.